Mark Brunel. This kid had everyone talking when he broke into the Barcelona first team at just 17 years old. Brunel was said to be Barcelona's next big thing. At just 17 years old, he was expected to follow in the legendary footsteps of someone like Sergio Busquets and be the CDM, the holding midfielder for Barcelona for the next decade. He even drawing comparisons to Busquets when he was with La Masia. And to be honest, it looked like he was going to be that guy. But Nal had all the tools, and I mean, still does theoretically. He has good size, he's very, very composed, great passing, good shot to him, and he has everything you need to take over the iconic midfield and role this time under Hansi Flick. Whenever I watched Bernal, I was really excited to see what he could be in the future, and in the present even, he was really good, especially for a 17 year old, and I just thought every time I watched Bernal, yeah, this is another story of a Lamine Yamal, except this time in midfield. When Barcelona's top guys in midfield like Gavi, Pedri, and Frankie de Jong were all out of injuries, Bernal looked like the perfect solution for Hansi Flick, and in the opening matches of the season, Season outside of preseason where he looked really good but in the opening matches of the actual season but now looked incredible dominating possession winning the ball back with ease and holding the midfield together like a seasoned pro for those who followed La Masia this wasn't really a surprise I mean he was a really hyped up prospect but when he played with the pros at 17 years old this kid looked like something special for Barcelona again he controlled the midfield like a veteran winning tackles keeping possession dictating the tempo of the game it was clear that this kid was special and but now see the ball for the next 10 years to be the anchor for Barcelona to allow guys like Pedri and whoever else to push forward without having to worry as much defensively because Bernal was just so good at winning the ball back and keeping the game ticking. But just when things were looking perfect for Bernal, in the third game of the season, disaster struck. Three games into the season, he tore his ACL in a match away against Rayo Vallecano, sidelining him now for the entire season. A major blow for both him and the team, and they were just starting to find momentum with Bernal as their young midfielding sensation. So what were Barca to do? They had so many injuries, plus Bernal now. What do they do? They should have bought a midfielder in the summer. Every Barcelona fan has said that, but they didn't. So what do they do now? Well, enter Marc Casado. Now, let's be real for a second. Casado was not not supposed to be the answer. He was 20 years old, captain of Barcelona Athletic, and a solid player overall, but not someone anyone expected to fill the void left by Bernal. In fact, last season when Barcelona were dealing with injuries, Xavi didn't even consider him for the team. He was experimenting with center backs like Christensen and Eric Garcia in midfield instead of even looking Casado's way. But this season, when Bernal went down, they had all these injuries. What was Hadzi Flick to do? Well, Casado stepped in and stepped up in a way that nobody saw coming. From his very first game, it was clear that this guy had something to prove and he wasn't flashy, but he was effective. He pressed relentlessly, won balls and controlled possession a lot like Marc Bernal. Casado was exactly what Hansi Flick and Barcelona needed, especially with their high pressing, high octane style that they play. His energy was relentless and his ability to break up play and keep the team ticking over was exactly what the squad was missing with no Marc Bernal. Now let's be clear, Casado is not Bernal. He's not trying to be, which is a good thing, but he hasn't got the capabilities that Bernal has. He doesn't have Bernal's long range shooting or just the ability to to dictate the tempo as well. He doesn't have the size of Marc Bernal, but what Casado brings to the table is grit and a tactical understanding of how to make Barcelona's high press system under Hansi Flick. He's been the glue holding the midfield together during one of the team's toughest injury crisis in years. Even in the game against Monaco where Barcelona lost, I thought Marc Casado did everything he could and he looked really impressive. I mean, if you look at some of his underlying numbers, you can kind of start to understand what type of player Marc Casado is. He is 94th percentile in assists per 90. He ranks in the 88 8th percentile in passes attempted, 90th percentile in pass completion rate, 92nd percentile in progressive passes, showing that despite all his grit and his determination, he is still a really good on the ball player to help the team keep possession and even push the team forward with his progressive passes. But he ranks in the 80th percentile of all midfielders in tackles and the 83rd percentile in clearances of all midfielders. Again, showing that he is very effective defensively. But here's the wild part. Despite being overlooked last season, Casado is now earning his place in the squad. He's not just filling in until the stars come back, he's making a case to stay in that lineup. His versatility being able to play both deeper in a CDM role and also further up the pitch in the kind of 8 and 10 if he needs to, that has made him invaluable for Hansi Flick. And again, his work rate is something Hansi Flick values so much because as you all know, Hansi Flick likes to play a very aggressive pressing style, something very different to what Xavi used to do. And don't be 
surprised if Gwen Gavi, Pedri and even Mark Bernal return if Casado keeps some of them on the bench. So in a season where Barcelona's midfield has been decimated by injuries, Marc Casado has been the unexpected hero. He didn't have the hype that Marc Bernal had, but when the opportunity came, he grabbed it with both hands. And if he keeps up this form, he might just be the unsung hero that hopes Barcelona maybe win La Liga this season.